What up? It's like, boys. Click it hard as hell. <laughs> when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. That was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Oh, shit. It's been influencing my poems a bit. I have found the way. An elephant? This world will become one. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other, I can reveal my true self. <laughs> the world that the boss envisioned will become a reality. Self. Anyway, <laughs> Skynet will take over. <laughs> Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. That's cute. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. If you're a retard. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Wink. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode of Thick Boys. Ended after a minute and a half. <laughs> Phew. That's a lot of reading. <laughs> I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated, especially Yuri's fucking monologue. Hell yeah. It's as if everyone's judging me for my shit writing. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. I mean, <laughs> they're on a different level. <laughs> I'm only using like 2% of my power. Oh shit. <laughs> they're playing 3D chess. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and my wife. Mm. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. Natsuki starts beating Yuri's ass. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> What's with this language? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. Damn, one hand, she's got skill. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Arigato. Yours is kawaii. Kawaii? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> it's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? It's a poem about despair I, I know that. and futility. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Nondesuka? <laughs> you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. You better watch that shit, Natsuki, before you keep these hands. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Oh, you have a couple suggestions, do you? She's getting shitty. If I was looking for fucking suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked that. Which people did, by the way. Except for you, apparently. <laughs> All one people. Sayori liked that, and Thick Boy did too. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my fucking own. First of all, bitch! Get some our tits. Ex excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my own writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. That was the most pretentious way to say Which fuck you. I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> Talk as <is> shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Thick Boy liked my poem too, Datebayo. He even told me he was inspired by it. Or Impressed by it. Are you, Nani? Are you gay? Nani? <laughs> Natsuki so the music stopped. Oh, oh shit. Oh. They're it's dead. They they about to scrap. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. You wanna fuck it? <laughs> or what? Oh. That's not what I uh, You're just you're a bitch. That's the sound of my dick getting erect that spring. This shit slap. What the f <laughs> uh, dum, 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 bitch. <laughs> bitch. Shut the fuck up. Bitch. Maybe you just Okay. The gun goes boom. Alright. Maybe you're just This shit going crazy. Big boy appreciates my advice more than he appreciated oh, yours. Shit. Oh, she's getting serious. Oh shit. Yo, I'm over here dancing. Huh. And 
how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? <laughs> God damn, Bloob. I... God damn. No. If I this was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Talking shit. Oh. Yo. Those bongos, nigga? Uh, what the uh, fuck? Um, uh, is everyone okay? Oh, my bad. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs oh. magically grew a size bigger as soon as Big Boy started shut up. Uh, Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... Oh, dude, Monica's gonna kill him now. Teleportation. This doesn't involve... We gotta time this shit. Three, two, one. This, this doesn't, doesn't involve, involve yeah. I don't like fighting, guys. <laughs> Your fucking eyes. I love that. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Thick boy. She's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. She kind of did. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? I love this part. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, thick boy. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Shit. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily I'm limiting yourself, this shit. it's also a waste. You you understand that, right, thick boy? Um. Well. Oh. Well. well. <laughs> How did I get dragged into this shit? It's not like I know anything about this shit. Or <laughs> reading. But whoever I agree with, they probably think more highly of my shit. So of course, that's gonna be Yuri. Help Sayori. Fuck Sayori. <laughs> no, not Yuri. Fuck Natsuki. Yeah, my Yuri, girl. Okay. My future wife. Let's oh, save. It's not like I'm gonna choose any other option. It's my girl. It's the love of my life. The apple of my eye. Um. Oh shit. God, the slap stopped again. The decisiveness. That shit went crazy. Yuri. I love you. You're really talented. Uh, well, peeking at you. But Natsuki has a fucking point. I think that... I wreck my brain in an attempt to come up with some shit. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job of that. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. It did, didn't it? <laughs> Shows how much you know. That's not. Natsuki, I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was some minime. Natsuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. <laughs> Writing is a really personal thing. Come fast. <laughs> and sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today, right? Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. <laughs> like some slap. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. I can just picture her going, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsukai. Ah. Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. I mean, nothing compared to Yuri. Thanks for not a saying. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri. <laughs> Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. She looks so fucking pitiful. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said. She was pissed off, she's a tsundere, they talk shit, it's what they do. So you don't need to feel threatened either. And she ain't gonna do shit no way. She's well, not buff Suki. If you say so. Hey, it's not like I, you need to apologize for me, thick boy. Shish. Natsuki takes a breath. <gasps> I... Uh, the thing about... Uh, uh, <laughs> Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. She pees in embarrassment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got half chub that quick just thinking about that. She pisses herself in frustration. Sarah and Monica look away from the piss. <laughs> anyway, look what you made me do. The thing about your boobs. I didn't mean it, okay? They've been big since day one. They were big from jump. That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Especially Yuri. Yeah, yeah, she's like, oh, yeah. She's yeah, yeah. Centered onto <laughs> Laser it. Laser focused on the. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayori? How did you get here so quick? I'll, I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I put Sayori on the shoulder. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I was like, what the fuck? I put Sayori on my shoulder. <laughs> Holy shit. I body swipe her. Well, now that we're past that shit, everyone's read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, thick boy. Thick boy. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from lazing around we got a little too used to. <laughs> Pointy ass uh, chin. So, talking shit. <laughs> uh, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all, not at all. We need some dance. Yes. There's still time before we go home. Let's fuck. Yeah, let's So let's we'll all relax break. for a bit by engaging in sexual activity. <laughs> so maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book and learn how to read. After all, that's what the club is for. I dis- Oh, fuck. Damn! I disagree, Monica. We should go home and eat. I want breakfast! Breakfast! That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is... Having fun. Oh, <laughs> God. She's the worst. Uh -huh. Of course. <sighs> Look at her. She's like, this fucking uh, stupid Sweat bitch. droop. Well... I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. I thought Yuri and I was. Run this shit. I thought Yuri was vice president. Who, who gives a fuck? Maybe vice president is, maybe means that's... nothing in this club of four members. Maybe that's a different playthrough, because I'm pretty sure in Game Grumps playthrough, Yuri was the vice president. I don't give a fuck about Game Grumps playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that's her laugh. That's how Sayori laughs. <laughs> Like Should have contained the darkness within yeah. it. Yeah. In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means that I can't read. But in the end, <laughs> I guess it's been worth it so far. Oh boy, what a, a change uh, of scenery. Literally nothing changed. Why do they do a wipe? <laughs> Why do they do a wipe transition? I don't know. What is, okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. Oh, it was to simulate time passing. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. Talking like Monica is hard on my voice. Thick boy, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. <laughs> Ditto. Ditto. Same here. It was neat. <laughs> it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. You awesome. tell me a fucking neat? In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Oh, fuck. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. Like, how to get some slop. Or reading. So your poems will turn out even better. Huh. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems that oh, everyone too. likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Wink, wink, Natsuki, wink, wink. Wink, wink. Say I nod to myself. <laughs> I nod to myself with newfound determination. Thick boy. <laughs> Ready to walk home? Oh, shit. Let's do it. Let's get it. God. Ah, oh, that's so jarring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's... Whew. That... Whew. It truly has been a while since Sarah laughed like that. <laughs> and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. She's pretty cute, except for that fucking laugh. <laughs> Sayori. About what happened earlier with you laughing like that... Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki... Does that kind of thing happen often? They always getting into it and no, talking no, no. shit. This is really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. Usually it's very more sexual. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't do you you don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. What if what if if you could you could have a what do you if you could <laughs> if you could have you ever had a, <laughs> have you ever had a dream where you could you could do if if you want if you do <laughs> when you could if you if you do want to do so much, you can do anything? <laughs> nailed that shit. <laughs> so happy. He, he was so happy at the end of it. He was like, yeah, nailed it. <laughs> I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. Oh, you know, that'd be so boy, cute. That's all I need is a cute girl in my life to in fart the, in the club. at any given time. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. Mm-hmm. And I think everyone really likes you too. Good. That's dash exclamation mark. 
<laughs> I'm changing laugh every time. Every day is gonna be so much fun. <sighs> Fuck. It looks like Siri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. I'm not trying to smash. I'm sexually I'm fucking frustrated. Nice. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but I'm trying to be more than that. Does it really need to stop there? That's what I'm saying, man. I'm trying to get my dick wet. Well, we'll find out if it does stop there in the next episode of Dick Wet Boys.